y'all welcome back to another Afghazi video as you can tell by Tata below today I'm gonna give you all my self-care Sunday routine so if you want to get into it make sure that you like comment and subscribe and of course press the notification bell so every time I post a video you can be one of the first people to see it and yeah we're just gonna get into it um this self-care Sunday I didn't well, of course, I focused on physical self-care, but I really want to show y'all how I mentally take care of myself and mentally give myself some self-care or what I like to do just to wind down and relax and just give myself like a really, really nice Sunday. Um, I know a lot of people really focus in on the physical part, but the mental part is just as important. So if y'all want to see what I do, I'm going to give y'all some tips and tricks, then just keep watching. So to start off my self-care Sunday, I wanted to do something that I enjoy to do and I really like making charcuterie. This is something that I just randomly come upon and, well, I'm not going to say randomly. So I've seen Aaliyah making some charcuterie, right? It looked good. It looks like a fun snack and it looked fun to make and I want to see if I could recreate something similar. So this is not my first time. Um, this is actually my second time and this is a larger board. So this is the first time that, because the first time I did like a plated charcuterie. This is the first time that I actually did a board. And um, this Sunday was around Christmas time, so I did a Christmas theme. So I'm just showing y'all all the ingredients I'm going to use to make the charcuterie. And then I'm going to show y'all just a few tricks I use to make my really, really cute charcuterie board. So yeah, it's something that I really love and something that I feel that is fun. And it just gives me like a self-care vibe, you know, because it's something that I actually enjoy. And it's going to be good. It's going to be a snack. So yeah, find something that's like a hobby. I don't care if you like to read, ride your bike. Um, girl, I don't care if it's going to the gym. If that's a form of self-care for you, then do it. So this is just what I'm going to start my self-care Sunday out with. I'm just going to let y'all watch. And let me know. Give me a rating. I think I did pretty good for my first actual board. Hold on. Hold on. Fuck that. Seeing you got ritualistic. Cleansing my soul of a big ship for now. Cause I'm falling apart. Between us just like big fences You got issues that I won't mention for now Cause we're falling
afternoon I find a festivity that I enjoy I'm gonna get the vibe right of course I'm gonna put me on some music today I was in the vibe for tink so that's what we went with and then I'm about to do the physical self-care part so for me I typically like to get the vibes right light a candle things like that and do some type of mask so today I'm just gonna be doing a turmeric tint and it's really just turmeric and water I didn't have any um what is it called apple cider vinegar but normally i would go with that but with this i just did a tint now the reason that i would like to do a tint on my face instead of like a thick mask today is just because you're gonna see that later on when the turmeric dries because it is actually um a seasoning or a spice um it will dry in these like really really tiny um balls i guess like on different parts of my face um, and when I rub it together after it is dry it creates a very light and gentle exfoliant turmeric is really good for lightening some dark you know age spots or sun spots or pimple acne um, dark spots that you have and I just really love this for that purpose so yeah I'm just gonna smoke a little blunt as well you know get right and then we're gonna get into the shower Self-care Sundays are typically all about setting the vibe and the mood for me. So I'm going to be using this Moon Shower Mist by Truly. I'm going to give you all the full details. I have a really good sponsor video by them dropping soon. First, I'm going to wet my body to exfoliate. That's one of the things if you've been here on my channel for a while. I'm going to be using this Raw Sugar Pear Scrub. It smells so good. And I have a full video on the entire collection. So make sure I will link that for y'all. It smells really, really good. And the exfoliant is gentle enough that it doesn't leave micro tears. But it also smells really good and it leaves your skin feeling very soft and smooth wash my lady parts of course I'm gonna use Dove and then to go in with my body wash I'm gonna be using champagne toast if y'all can't tell I'm giving like a champagne toast in this vibe in this video um, I also gonna be using my Hita um, shower brush that just it's germ free and it lasts forever and it's way better than loofahs nothing against loofahs if you don't use them too long i know people think like i'm a loofah hater no but this just it's more sanitary and it lasts longer um it'll be if you're interested in the link below in my amazon store so definitely go pick one of those up i 100 percent recommend so after the shower I always moisturize today I'm just going to use typically I use whatever matches whatever um, shower gel I use if I have it so I'm using champagne toast that's kind of the vibe I was going for champagne toast candle champagne toast body wash champagne toast lotion y'all getting the vibe yeah so I'm just going to moisturize my body and then I'll show y'all my next step which is going to be skincare God, there's one more step so I do like to put on some type of mist again something that matches so I'm just gonna spray myself of course spray myself where I pulse where your heart is that's where you can keep the smell lingering as long as possible do a little dance with it and let's just get into this skincare so this is what I was talking about when the spice dries um, I just take a little bit of water and then I go in and exfoliate there's a big problem with this, it does stain, it's super annoying. It doesn't stain to the point where it's not gonna get out, but immediately, no, even after I wash my face, you're gonna see that it's tinted and it's a little bit, it's gonna be in my nails. It's aggy, but it gets the job done. I like the results and it's a natural way of exfoliating and a natural way of lightening your dark spots. I'm going to be trying Curology for the first time. So this is their cleanser. If you haven't heard about Curology, it's just a really great way that you can get dermatologists to examine your skin from home and they send you some products that they prescribe to you that they feel will help your skincare routine um, and also they give you a skincare routine they tell you what to do they tell you what's inside of your product they tell you 
when to use them, when not to use them, what to do, what not to do. I think it's really, really great. So you can actually go on Curology. This is not sponsored at all. I use my own money. Um, and they can give you like a quote unquote free trial. You have to pay for shipping, which is like six bucks. And you can get these sample size and see if you actually like it before you go and purchase again. So this is my trial run. So we're going to see if I like it. But so far, it's so good. Um, I like to dry my face with like a t-shirt or like a terry cloth, um, something that's fresh and clean just because using, or like, even like a paper towel because using towels multiple times for me has not worked out. So I'm just going to damp my skin dry and then want to go in with their moisturizer that they sent me. All of the details are going to be on the screen and um, yeah, just got to, yeah, look at me jamming out. Go to Curology and try it out. Again, y'all see that the turmeric is still stained. Um, yeah, there's no really way unless I wash my face like four or five times to get it off. But I don't mind a little bit of leftover residue because it's still going to do what it needs to do. Yes, it's in my nose ring and in my hairline, but it will fade. Also, Curology sends you a lip balm. I need a wax, so that will be my next skincare routine because I go get my face waxed and stuff. But I just got the mint con and it smells really good. I think the technology of the lip balm is pretty cool. So so yeah, keep your lips moisturized. It's the one time boo. We this is a need. self-care sunday i like to make myself a meal so today i'm gonna be making myself some brenner you know some breakfast for dinner now i do it for my sister so she made everything else that you're gonna see put me on my put on my plate but i did make some french toast so i'm just gonna show y'all how i did that i really like to end off my night with like a nice hot meal that i cook for myself and then relax and you're gonna see me get on netflix watch a movie and just chill out for the rest of the night so that's pretty much how i end my self-care sundays um, i'm just gonna let y'all watch me do this little small cooking montage and then i'll of course come back to say bye to you all and thank you at the end Pretty much sums up what I do for my self-care Sundays. Make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Of course, press the notification bell and come back whenever I post a new video. Um, uploading schedule is Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I know I've been gone for a long time, um, but I just want to thank y'all for all the support. And I hope that this gives you tips and tricks for your self-care Sunday and you enjoy yours as well.